All right, here we go. This is the F-16 from FRC Foamies. This is their MK-1 version. This is not their MK-2. This is their quick build, profile build. And, uh... You got the first flight on, on it already. Uh, it did okay. The uh, dual rates were way too high with 30%, uh, 30 degrees deflection. So I landed it pretty quickly. Second flight, uh, just like the MiG-29, I flipped my flaps or my flapperons instead of my high rates on my elevator. For some reason, I don't know why I did that, but I did that and it wasn't a great idea. And I crashed. So today is redemption. We'll go over the plane real quick. Ailerons, elevator, and rudder. Uh, none of it's measured out. It was initially, but it was way too high, and I just did it at the field. And my wife's been sick, so I haven't had time to do it at home. But we have uh, low rates for ailerons and high rates. Not a whole lot different. Elevator, low and high rates. And like I said before, the flapperons and spoilerons. And that's the gist of this. Uh, it's got the the Turnigy 2200 kV motor. It's got an 1800 uh, battery in it, running on five servos. Uh, the two elevator servos are in the middle, ailerons are on the outside, and the rudder in the back. And we've got the Lemon RC receiver with a servo extension. And in there is the Turnigy 40 uh, 40 amp plush ESC. So. Motor's blown backwards. Fix that real quick. If you haven't had a problem like that before, I'm trying to get this in the picture. You just switch two wires. It's not a big deal, especially when you have a hatch on the bottom of your plane. Switch them just like that. And see how it goes. Yep, that's about right. So, as you can tell, there's the repair from the nose. On the back side replaced the fuselage it's all destroyed i didn't care about that a whole lot a little extra lift with it flipped up like that just kidding and it's got a whole new front end on it too so let's see how it goes i'm a little nervous left right up down and rudder left and right here we go Try to keep some speed on it since it is pretty much a maiden flight. A little sensitive in the roll. Oh, almost hit the light post. Go back and watch my uh, MiG-29, I think it's flight three. Crash into a light post there. The beeping you're hearing is from my transmitter below and above 10% throttle. If anybody knows how to get that beep turned off, I have it enabled, but it still beeps at me. Still in low rates. Oh, I'm losing it. Oh, there we go. Got it. Somebody's asking me how high. I don't know, higher than I want. Let's see. It's high enough for me. See if we can get a little high off in here.
Eh, not really liking it. We're going to go with... I'm going to get up to altitude so I don't mess up again. And we'll get the flaps on. Alright, flaps are on. No, that's the high rates again. Alright, now I'm lost. Higher than I can fly it! So I've got the spoiler ons on right now. Elevators are low dual rates. Spoiler ons are up with the nose up attitude. Doesn't feel very comfortable. Could use a little more rudder. Hope it's not too boring watching me fly around in circles. I'm just trying to really get comfortable with the plane. Which I'm definitely not right now. Alright, we'll go up and we'll get rid of the spoiler runs. Alright, now we're at normal aileron, aileron attitude. Let's see if we can come back down and do some more circles. Feels a little better with just regular ailerons. Let's go up and we'll put flaps on it and see what happens. And flaps are on. Nose dive instantly. Nope. Flaps are no good on this. It just dives too much. I don't have enough up elevator. So we're going to have to go with the higher uh, dual rate for the elevator if I'm going to use the flaps. Look like we hit the fence just a little bit. Should be okay. See if we can just throw it back in the air. I guess the transmitter had a five minute alarm on it, and that's what was beeping at me. I don't mind flying more than five minutes. Every time I've flown with these park jets, I can get over 12 minutes of flight time. And just a little ding on the nose. Nothing too bad. So let's get rid of the flaps. Flaps are gone. Let's see if we can do some more scale stuff. Oh, I'm losing that. You go high rates with the elevator. Yeah, it feels like it needs an alignment. You probably can't even see it because it's so far away. It just feels very inconsistent. This is below 10% throttle. I think we're going to have to take it back, clean it up, see if we can catch it. No, nope, not on that attempt. Bring it in for another one.
Yeah, that didn't go so well. That's all right. Well, that was fun. I'll see you guys next time.